Reactors are controlled by how many neutrons are in the core at any given time. This is because neutrons cause fission, which releases energy and more neutrons. Prompt neutrons are neutrons that are destroyed or lost in the same generation that they are born in, i.e. instantly. For prompt neutrons, the change in the number of neutrons per unit time is equal to the sources of neutrons minus the losses of neutrons. Symbolically, we can express this as dn dt equals nu sigma f phi minus sigma a phi minus db squared phi. Let's go through this term by term. n is the neutron density in neutrons per cubic centimeter. t is time in units of seconds. Nu is the number of neutrons born per fission. This is usually between 2 and 5 depending on the nuclide, and this value is unitless. Sigma f is the macroscopic fission cross section. It has units of 1 over centimeters. Phi is the neutron flux. This has units of neutrons per centimeter squared per second. Sigma A is the macroscopic absorption cross-section and represents the absorption of neutrons. This has units of 1 over centimeters. D is the diffusion coefficient, which has units of centimeters. B is the buckling. This has units of 1 over centimeters. The diffusion coefficient d is related to the mean free path, lambda sub tr, or the transport mean free path, by the relationship d equals the transport mean free path divided by 3. Alternatively, this can be expanded to be 1 over 3 times the scattering cross-section times 1 minus 2 divided by 3 times the atomic weight of the nuclide. The buckling B can be computed in two ways. The geometric buckling B sub G depends on the shape of the core. See table 4-2 in the book. The material buckling B sub M is derived from the criticality constraint such that B sub M squared is equal to nu sigma F minus sigma A divided by the diffusion coefficient for exactly critical systems. dn dt is the growth rate of the number of neutrons. Nu sigma f phi is the neutron production rate. Sigma a phi is the neutron destruction rate. The diffusion coefficient times the buckling squared times the flux is the leakage. This is the rate at which neutrons leave the system entirely. For neutrons traveling with a speed v in units of centimeters per second, the flux is equal to the speed times the neutron density. Thus, the diffusion equation can actually be rewritten as 1 over the velocity, or speed, times d phi dt equals nu sigma f phi minus sigma a phi minus the diffusion coefficient times the buckling squared times the flux.